This is Laura from Travers Bay Crochet and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful, elegant, faux fur fingerless mittens. You can see they have a lot of great texture and the faux fur just really gives it some class and a nice touch. So let's get started. So for this pattern we're going to be using uh, Yarn B Breathe Deep in Ivory. It's a size 4 weight. Um, it's really soft. I really like working with this yarn because it is so soft. It's 100% polyester. And then also we're going to be using Lion Brand Go For Faux. And this is in Blonde Elk. And you'll also need a size H five millimeter crochet hook. All right, let's get started. So to begin, we're going to be taking our ivory yarn here, and we're going to start by chaining 10 for the cuff. We're going to single crochet into the second chain and each chain down. Alright, so now we're going to chain one, turn our work, and we're just going to single crochet into the back loop only all the way down the row. And now we're going to chain one again and single crochet into the back loops only all the way down this row. We're going to repeat doing that until we have 18 rows in total. And then I'll meet you back and show you how to finish your cuff. Now I finished my 18 rows and I'm going to fold it in half and slip stitch across both ends to join. and this is going to create our cuff. I like my cuff a little fitted. If you do want a larger cuff, then you can add a few more rows to what we just did. So we're gonna join all the way to the end here. And when we get to the end, we're gonna chain one And then we're going to single crochet 26 stitches evenly around the top. And they will be close together. So now that we finished our 26 stitches around, we're going to work directly into the first stitch we made. And we're going to double crochet you can place a stitch marker here if you need to, but I know that it's the beginning of every row just from where we joined. But if you if you need to put a stitch marker there, that's fine too. And we're just going to double crochet into each stitch around. So now that we finished our second row, we're going to single crochet into our first stitch and front post double crochet around the next, single crochet into the next, and front post double crochet into the next stitch. And we're going to just work in this way all the way around this row. Okay, so for row four, we're going to single crochet and to our first stitch and now we're going to front post double crochet around the front post double crochet from the previous row single crochet into the next and front post double crochet into the next stitch 
So this is going to start our pattern making these really pretty front post double crochets that go up your fingerless mitten. And just keep working in this way for row four and you will repeat this row for rows five through eight and I will meet you back at the end of row eight. So I just finished row eight and for row nine we're going to be making our thumb hole. So to start we're going to single crochet into the first stitch, front post, double crochet into the next, single crochet and we're going to repeat that four more times. So we'll be working 10 stitches and then making our thumb hole. So single crochet That's six stitches single crochet So basically from when we started we'll be working a single crochet, front post double crochet. You can actually just count one, two, three, four, five posts over. So once, once you finish your front post double crochet on the fifth post, then we're going to be starting our thumb hole. So we're just going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to skip the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. So we're going to then single crochet into the fifth stitch. We're going to just continue finishing the row with the single crochet, front post double crochet that we've been doing throughout the pattern. Alright, so for row 10 we're going to single crochet and front post double crochet and repeat that until we get to our chain four thumb space. So now we've reached our chain four thumb space and we're just going to double crochet into each of those four chains. And then continue with a single crochet and front post double crochet and go back and forth repeating that for the remainder of the row. So for row 11 we're going to start the same way that we've been doing it and single crochet, front post double crochet and repeat that until we get to the four double crochets we made in our last row. And when we reach those, we're just going to continue with the pattern by single crocheting into the first stitch and doing a front post double crochet around the double crochet from the last row. Single crochet and again the front post double crochet. Single crochet into the next stitch and continue with your front post double crochet and go back and forth in this way for the rest of the row. Now for rows 12 through 15 we're just going to continue with the pattern that we've been doing with single crochet and front post double crochet, single crochet and front post double crochet and just continue working in this way all the way around for rows 12 through 15. So I just finished row 15 and we're going to slip stitch into our first stitch there and I'm just going to fasten off and weave in ends and then I will meet you back and we will start the faux fur. So now we're going to take our faux fur and we're just going to pick up a stitch I'm anywhere along the top. I'm actually just going to start at where we 
fastened off. And chain one. And we're just going to single crochet evenly around the top of our mitten. It's actually really easy to work with. I thought this was going to be harder to see the stitches or to feel your way, I guess. But actually it's quite easy and it's just fine with the H hook. I know it recommends a larger hook, but this works just fine. As you can see, it's quite easy. And there isn't really an exact stitch count for this. You're just filling out the top and it's so forgiving. I mean, obviously you can't see each stitch, but once it's on, it will just cover the whole top of it and look really pretty. So this works really fast. And then once we reach the beginning, we're just going to slip stitch into the first stitch. Just kind of feel your way. And then we're going to fasten this off. And we'll be weaving in that end, but Right now I'm going to move on to the thumb and we'll be doing the same thing again and just pick up a stitch anywhere and chain one. And as I'm single crocheting I'm just going to be doing it over this tail end so we don't have, it's just one less thing to weave in. And again this yarn is so forgiving that you won't even be able to tell. And we're just going to turn as we go and just work our way around the thumb hole. Okay, slip stitch and to the first there. And we'll be fastening that off. Okay, and we're going to be doing the same thing around the bottom. Alright, so I'm going to finish that off and I will meet you back to weave in our ends. So I finished off the cuff part at the bottom and I'm just going to start weaving in my ends. Use a large blunt needle. And we're just going to get down in there and go back and forth along the inside. And again, just kind of feel your way This yarn is um, really great because you can't see where you're weaving in and out and it, there's nothing really awkward about it. You can just kind of go wherever and you're not going to be able to notice. So we'll just make sure it's nice and tight like that and snip that part off and see it looks really good. So I'm going to do that with our thumb in the bottom here and then we'll have our finished piece. So here you have the elegant faux fur fingerless mitten and just go ahead and make another one and you'll have your complete set. And then also I have posted the matching headband pattern if you are interested for that video. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel for more great free patterns and have a great day.